just filmed a, another whole video without realizing there are stains on my shirt. So can you guys just pretend like you don't see them the whole time? Thanks. Welcome back to my channel. My name is JC and in today's video we are getting caffeinated and drunk. No, I'm just kidding. In this video we are going to be making over a coffee cart slash bar cart. So when I moved into this apartment and I realized how much space I had, I knew I wanted a little section for my coffee and for my liquor. And because my kitchen is so gappy, if you guys recall in my empty apartment tour, I knew that some type of cart would be perfect for that area. So I actually kind of like set it in the back of my head, like, oh, if I come across one that I like, maybe I'll pick it up. On like day one of thrifting, I found this beautiful cart that I'll show you guys, obviously. And it was the first piece of furniture I bought for my new apartment. And it was actually probably one of the most expensive things I got because it's a real vintage cart, not just like a thrifted hand-me-down. It's like an actual vintage cart. But I was so inspired by it that I was like, you know, I have to make this a whole separate video of how I'm going to create this bar cart. So if you like videos like this of me kind of getting more comfortable into my apartment, exploring LA, as well as just hanging out with me. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's check out that cart. So here is my beautiful coffee cart. I got it at an antique store. It was one of the first things I saw and I paid $40 for this and I'm so happy with it because I was kind of doing some research online for coffee carts and they were either all like too glamorous or not enough shelves or way too many shelves too much going on and I saw this one and I just liked how personal it felt because like it found me I didn't like just buy it offline it's one of the things that I love about thrifting so when I bought it I was like oh I could do a really cool like makeover with this I could spray paint the hardware even a better gold I could do some contact paper on these trays and the more that it's been sitting in my apartment and I've been looking at it the more I like, the more I like the look of it. It just feels a lot more vintagey. It feels a lot more like that I didn't just buy it, that I found it. So I think I might keep it like this. But if you guys disagree, let me know if you think I should do contact paper. If so, what color? So currently my kitchen is, um, you know, it's got the pink countertops. So I don't know how I'm going to match that. I would probably need to do, here's my thinking, here's my thinking. I think I would need to do a full kitchen renter friendly makeover before I do anything to this because I don't really know what my kitchen's going to look like um, or how I want it to look. So I'm going to keep it like this for now. So what I was thinking for these shelves is I wanted to do on the top a coffee section um, because I have very limited counter space in my kitchen and I need to fit a coffee maker as well as my pods and any other accessories. So I will absolutely keep the top open for coffee, but then I'm thinking for these two shelves here will be a combination of wine, liquor, and then glassware. So if you didn't know, um, I actually used to live in a house with an ex-boyfriend and I had a ton of stuff from there. And it's just kind of been sitting in storage for the past couple of years while I've been living with my parents. So now that all of that is out of storage, I have a ton of like glassware and things that I can easily put onto this. I also have done some thrifting. Let me show you. So I got this and this at a thrift store. So this is like um, holds three bottles of wine. And then I wanted a tray for all of the liquor to sit on, but I saw this and I was like, oh, this could kind of surround the liquor. So I spray painted these gold myself. These were both silver and I'm not a big fan of silver. So I did spray paint these to match thinking it would look like this. It doesn't, but not a big deal because again, I might DIY this a little bit later. I also got um, some books while I was out thrifting. So I wanted some coffee books and some wine slash liquor books just as decor. I had a vision, I had a vision. So I got some cute little coffee ones. So this one's like coffee and it's a little like, a little illustration book, like super cute. Is it from the oatmeal? No, it kind of looks like the illustration of the oatmeal if you know, if you know that site. So just a cute little thing. This one is actually cupcakes and cashmere, but I like the look and size of it. 
and then this one is like how to brew the best coffee. So perfect to sit on here as decor, but also like on theme, on brand, and informational. For the more alcohol ones, I got a complete guide to wine. I got a martini book, which I don't even like martinis. They are way too alcoholy, but the spine says tiny bigs, big martinis. I don't know, it'll be cute. Then one of my favorite finds is the bartender's guide. This was only like two bucks and it's a big old book of just an encyclopedia of cocktails to make. So this is actually gonna be useful because if I'm ever like during winter being like, you know what, how do I make a Negroni? I can just look it up, find the ingredients. What is that? Mr. Barbecue, Perea, premium Korean barbecue. Shout out Mr. Barbecue for plugging your company into this thrifted book. But so these again will just be decor for this as well as informational in the sense of how do I brew better coffee or make delicious cocktails. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this up and then we're gonna put the glassware on. I'm in my kitchen now and this is where the coffee cart's gonna go. So I have a pantry here and then this weird gap we're still in the kitchen because it's still the floor and then the carpet. So this will be a perfect place to put the cart. Um, I'm thinking coffee up top, like I mentioned. Liquor's gonna have to go down here because this is the most space to allow for tall bottles. So that's what this is gonna be. So this is gonna kind of hold our liquor. I only have two bottles so far. I have vodka and triple sec. So we're just gonna, oh good, that fits nicely. I was worried that was gonna be too tall. Our wine. I like all of the liquor on one shelf and all of the glassware on the other, so this looks like it'll fit nicely. I don't want any, any bottles of wine. We're gonna have to go shopping. So that's where those are gonna go. Um, I have the three bar books here, so we're gonna do spines out. <sighs> Maybe something like that, and then I'm just gonna put all of the glassware on. So I got these cute little cocktail glasses um, because I saw them at a thrift store for 50 cents each and they had gold on them. The problem is that now I have like three different shades of gold on this thing. So I have the matte gold that I spray painted these. I have this like dusty coppery gold and then these are very glossy shiny gold. But it's all good in the hood, you know? We're gonna make it work. So we'll put those there. I have some wine glasses that I got out of storage. These are from Danza del Sol Winery in Temecula. I, when my friend turned 21, I got her like a Groupon to um, go wine tasting and then they do the whole tour and part of the Groupon you get two wine glasses. And I had so much fun doing it that I actually got it for my parents as a Christmas gift one year. And so we went wine tasting, had a bunch of fun and got two more glasses. So now I have a full set of four matching stemless wine glasses, which are really cute. Um, I don't think glasses with the stem would have fit on here unless I put them on the bottom shelf, but I like it better up there. What are these? Oh, these are like mini stemless wine glasses. So my mom has worked at Ralph's for 40 years. Shout out mom. Hello. Do you imagine being dedicated to a job for 40 years? Like I couldn't imagine. The last event that I went to before the whole shutdown of coronavirus was this big awards banquet to celebrate her 40 years. It was at Downtown Disney. It was this huge event. We got all dressed up, took pictures with Minnie and Mickey Mouse. And the party favors were these glasses that say, feed the human spirit, which was the theme of the party, but it says Ralph's on it. But everybody was leaving their glasses everywhere. And I was like, well, I'm gonna take them. I'm, they're, that's free glasses. So I have a couple of those that'll fit perfectly there. These ones are funny. So these are big old beer steins for the Best Damn brand. So they have Best Damn root beer, Best Damn, I think orange soda, just like alcoholic sodas. And one time I was at a restaurant and I was like really hanging out with the, um, the bartender and she was like, hey, do you want these? And I was like, why? She goes, we stopped serving this brand, so we can't serve these glasses anymore. So we're just gonna throw them away. Do you want them? I was like, heck yeah. Like, these are fun, heavy steins. Is that what these are called? I don't know. But I was like, yeah, I'll take them. Like, maybe I'll have a coffee cart someday and I could put it on there. And <laughs> would you look at that? 
Then lastly, gotta have Moscow Mule Cups. Moscow Mule is probably my favorite cocktail of them all, so we'll definitely have to buy some ingredients for that to fill out the liquor. But have to put our stuff here. And then two little shot glasses, because you gotta have to measure. So let's just put those there for now. So, so far so good. We have all of our glassware. We have our cute little books as decor. Looks like we definitely need to get a lot more liquor. So we'll go to the store for that. And then we can do the coffee part. I am back. We went shopping. This fridge is loud AF, so I'm gonna try to shout. Um, but I got some essentials for the liquor part of things. I didn't think it was necessary to get every liquor under the sun, you know? I don't need vermouth or alcohols that I know I won't drink just because I think a guest might drink them. So I really went with things that I would drink and I know I can make cocktails out of. So that includes rum, just a classic white rum. I got some Jameson whiskey, some Bloody Mary mix because it was on sale and it sounds delicious, as well as a cool little bottle of ginger beer because like I mentioned before, Moscow mules are my jam. I also got some bottles of wine to fill out our little wine rack here. And then I was thinking about like, I need mixers because you can't have, you can't just have liquor and be like, oh, can I make you a drink? I have vodka and water, like what is that? But I didn't wanna get juice because that couldn't be preserved on a shelf like this. I would need to keep it in my fridge and I don't really drink juice regularly. So it's like, that didn't really work. I would have to plan ahead. What I wanted were like nice Coke bottles, but the just Ralph's didn't have the Coke bottles, just Coke cans. So for now, I'm just gonna put some LaCroix coconut um, sparkling water on here, cause that's an easy, you know, cocktail to make. Just sparkling water with literally any of these liquors and coconut sounded nice, fruity and a lot more cocktail-y. So let me put these bad boys on. Coming along, coming along. Let's do the coffee part. So for the actual coffee part, I've had this drawer for my K-cups for a while, and I love that it has this open section because now I can just put it here and then they can slide out to get all their K-cups. Eh, eh, ingenious. So my Keurig will go here. I've had my Keurig since high school, so like for two years. I'm just kidding, I'm way older than that. Um, but my Keurig is my baby. It is still going strong, so it'll go right here. But there's no outlet over here. So I've actually, there's an outlet behind this pantry. So I've ran an extension cord. So I have an extension cord, so we're just gonna have to use that to put the coffee maker on here. Let's grab our books for decor. So those are gonna go here. And I bought a couple other things, let me show you. So I bought these olive bottles, olive oil bottles from Target. And I love putting syrups in my coffee and my alcohol. So I thought these would be perfect because I buy those skinny syrups from like Ross, Marshalls, Burlington, everywhere where they're like three bucks. And I change, I go through them like crazy, especially like the seasonal flavors. So I put some of that hazelnut syrup in this one and this will go on top for the coffee. Then I had another raspberry one that I'll put with the liquor. And that's kind of almost like, almost like grenadine, you know, you throw grenadine in a ton of cocktails and this way it's just more of a cuter presentation. So we can put our syrup maybe here and down here. Then I bought a candle for decor. Mm, that smells nice. We're gonna need, so I don't only do K-cups because it is bad for the environment, it's wasteful. Um, I do use coffee, so let me show you something else. I have chai tea from Trader Joe's, which sounds is gonna sound so good in the fall. Oh, so good. Um, but then I just bought some regular old coffee grounds from the grocery store. I believe it was like Don Francisco. I got this sealed jar from Ikea. So it's actually like pretty sealed. And I dumped all the grounds in here just for like a cute little presentation. And it fits nicely in there. So I use mostly the coffee grounds every day. And then the K cups are mostly just for guests. And then I went to Walmart and let me show you this. So I was shopping at Walmart and I saw this cool little tool where it comes with the refillable um, filter for the Keurig, but with the Keurig, when you use their refillable filter, you actually have to like pop out the one that the K-cup's supposed to go in and then just put this one in. This one acts as a K-cup, so you don't need to pop that out. And then what this is, it's a little scoopy tool. So you scoop from your coffee grounds here 
and then you close it and then you flip it over and kind of like nicely put it in there and it's the exact same size so you get just the right amount of coffee grounds without the mess so i will do a little demo once all this is done but it's super cute and i think i'm really gonna like this next oh, we have my baby here so i think all that's left to do is i'm just gonna plug this in do some finishing touches and then we'll be ready to go completed bar slash coffee cart. I finished it off with a fake plant that I made in my fake plant video. Um, so I think it adds a little bit of color and dimension. I threw on the books for decor along with the candle, our nice aesthetically pleasing jar of coffee, our tools. Um, I also put up this shadow box where you can put in your corks. So if you recall from my um, my second LA bucket list video, I went thrift shopping and I got this for $5 and there was already a nail hanging out from the side of the pantry. So I think it just adds a nice little, it really closes off the corner and I think it'll look really nice once I add more of the corks. I still might DIY this because again, it's just another shade of gold added on, but I think it works. Then I have all of my liquors, I have all of my glassware, some LaCroix, my books, and some wine. So I'm really excited with how it turned out. It makes me want to have people over, it makes me want to host and kind of act like that hostess with the mostess. I'm also excited because my sister is coming to stay with me for a week and we want to do like a little cocktail video. Um, so that'll be coming out, so make sure to keep a lookout for that. But I'm just so excited about how it turned out and I can't wait to make coffee and I think we should finish off this video with a little bit of B-roll of how I make my coffee. I wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out this video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can come back and join me and hang out with me so we can drink coffee and alcohol together because it seems to be a running theme with my videos. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodles! Do you guys want to see how badly I need a wide angle lens? I just finished my coffee cart, so I'm trying to take a thumbnail. And there's my camera inside my fridge. It's on top of my spinach, because I needed to get it further away. <laughs> I need to upgrade my equipment.